Hey, welcome to Momentum Tennis. I'm Ryan and today we have for you a comparison of three of the hottest ball machines on the market right now. We have the Slinger Bag, we have the Spin Shot Plus 2, and we have the Lobster Grand Elite 4. The Slinger Bag, in terms of price, starts at $645. The Spin Shot comes in at $1,999 and the Lobster Grand Elite 4 starts at $2,099. From slinger bag to lobster, they are in order from youngest to oldest. So the slinger bag is the youngest. It came to market in 2020, so pretty recently. Uh, did a lot of advertisement and you'll see many of uh, the top pros and coaches endorsing this machine. Uh, it's portable in design and its standout feature is that you fit everything pretty much in one bag, including balls if you want to go that route. The Spin Shot came to market about 10 years ago and it is marked as the best portable ball machine by many groups. If you do a Google search, you'll see it ranked as the number one ball machine for professional tennis training. And the Lobster. The Lobster is the granddaddy of the brands. It's been around for over 20 years now. It's made with good quality and used by many clubs and recreational players alike. In terms of build quality, the Slinger Bag has a stylish design with a slick exterior and while its materials feel very light, they don't feel cheap. Uh, the Spin Shot is good looking and is composed of a metal exterior, uh, which should make it the most durable of the bunch. And the Lobster, as you can see, is uh, composed of plastic, a hard plastic, um, but it as well doesn't feel cheap, doesn't feel like it would break easily. So. Uh, pretty good build quality across the board here, I'd say. The Slinger Bag weighs 33 pounds. This is excluding tennis balls because remember you do have the option to keep the balls inside. So 33 pounds without tennis balls. Um, it's one of the lightest ball machines on the market of its kind. It's very versatile and you can keep everything in one package. Uh, the Lobster comes in at 44 pounds, the heaviest of the bunch, and I will say you can definitely feel the difference between the Lobster and these other two. The Spin Shot comes in at 37 pounds, so it is slightly heavier than the Slinger. Uh, again, if you're not holding the balls inside the Slinger, but these two feel pretty maneuverable when you're taking them out of your trunk and bringing them to the court, dragging them along. Um, but the Lobster, especially when you're lifting, uh, is, is a little bit cumbersome, honestly especially because it doesn't have the grab handles uh, like the Slinger Bag has here and like the Spin Shot has right like that uh, for easy lifting. So that's definitely something you want to keep in mind if you're going to be moving this thing up and down and all around rather than just rolling it. With the machines next to one another here on the ground, it should be pretty easy to see how they compare in size and which one is the most compact. The Slinger Bag is definitely the biggest of the bunch and while that all-in-one design is definitely a selling piece for the Slinger Bag, it means that you have a little bit less versatility when packing your car, for instance. Um, if this rectangle fits in your car, if you have a very big trunk and you're transporting this machine, probably not a problem, but if this rectangle does not fit in your trunk, you'd have to come up with some sort of other solution. The Lobster has a design that is very good for holding a lot of balls. This top plastic part, this clear plastic here, actually removes completely and you can turn it over and fit it onto the main body of the machine. So when you're moving this around and putting it in your car, um, it's quite a bit smaller than it looks all set up right now, like it's ready to fire the balls. The curved design and this big handle, which doesn't collapse um, quite like it does on the Slinger Bag, and the spin shot uh, may or may not be an issue for your car. I'll leave that to you. The spin shot definitely seems to be the smallest in size and it is a rectangular shape and so you can lay it on its side to fit in your car. Um, should be pretty easy to fit in the vast majority of trunks. This section is just going to be a quick look at each of the control panels on the machines. I'll give you the basics and if you want to pause the video to take a longer look at the layout then by all means do that. Just note that we will be going over the functionality of each machine in the later sections of this video. The Slinger Bag has just two dials, one for speed and one for feed. You can see the only other things here on the control panel at the bottom are the charging port 
power button, and oscillator hookup. Here we are on the lobster and we have some basic navigation buttons at the top. Then moving from left to right, we have the remote and power buttons, the two line buttons to select your width, a column of oscillation buttons in the center, some preloaded drills in the next column, and on the far right, your play pause button and manual toggle. On the spin shot, we have some similar buttons, but with more specific customization options. And while this control panel is functional and a good option to control the machine, I personally have experience using the free app and it's good enough to where I've never really wanted or needed to use this panel in place of my phone. Now, Lobster offers a remote as well, but at an additional charge. So since I don't have experience using their app, I can't comment on how well that one works. The Slinger bag speed ranges from the ball boy lowest speed setting of 10 miles an hour to the advanced player speed of 45 miles per hour. Um, however, one really important thing to note here is that the higher the ball speed on the Slinger bag, the more top spin that the machine will be generating. So uh, if you want a 45 mile an hour ball that is flat or has sliced, that's not an option on the Slinger bag. The more speed you have, the more top spin you have. The Lobster Elite Grand 4 has a speed range of 35 miles an hour all the way up to 80 miles an hour, so that's a good range there. And you do have the option for uh, giving a flat ball at those speeds. The Spin Shot Plus 2 is offered in two models. Um, one has the basic speed level up to 70 miles an hour, and there is a high spin model that goes up to 80 miles an hour, so the same as the Lobster. Both of these options on the Spin Shot Plus 2 come with a minimum speed of 18 miles an hour. The Slinger Bag elevation bar just there gives you the option to change the launching angle um, from 10 to 40 degrees. This is all manual on the Slinger Bag machine. The Lobster and the Spin Shot share the same maximum launching degree of 60 degrees and they are controlled electronically and can be programmed. So manual on the Slinger Bag, electronic and programmable up to 60 degrees on the Lobster and the Spin Shot. The Slinger Bag machine does not have the ability to do custom drills. Um, there are some videos online for getting creative with how to do drills, but they're based on only horizontal random oscillation. So you don't have the ability to customize each ball that you're shooting out of the launcher specifically. Um, the horizontal movements are random, so you can't do two line and three line drills as you can with two line drills on the lobster and three line drills on the spin shot. Um, so that's definitely something to note if you want to get a little bit more complex with your training and the types of balls that you want to hit around the court. The Lobster Elite Grand 4 has two line oscillation or vertical oscillation. You can program it to be a wide two line or a narrow two line drill. These oscillation modes are not fully customizable since there are only two types of ball change. First ball left, second ball right, or first ball higher and second ball lower. Full custom drill capability means that each ball can be individually programmed and it's not available on the Grand Four, but if you want to pay an extra $600, you can go up to the Lobster Elite Grand Five and you'll have that capability. The Spin Shot Plus 2 is the only one with full drill custom capability, which means you can program the speed, the spin, the ball direction, the intervals, and the ball height. The free app comes with 12 slots where you can program exactly what you want to do. Each slot has a six ball sequence and you get to choose what each ball does with it using the numbers system in the app, which is shown on the screen here. There is a small learning curve to get used to using this app, but it's pretty straightforward and it doesn't take long to get the hang of. Uh, rec players and tournament players alike will really like this custom uh, functionality. It gives you a lot of freedom to customize exactly what you're doing using either the machine or the app on your phone. Slinger Bag holds 144 tennis balls, but something to note is that on its website, Slinger recommends that for optimum performance, you only hold 72 balls in the machine. 
the lobster holds 150 balls, which is the most of the bunch, and the spin shot holds 120 balls. The Slinger Bag uses a lithium ion battery. As mentioned on the Slinger Bag website, if it is used on medium settings, uh, including oscillation, then the battery life is up to three hours, and this reduces to one and a half hours when used at maximum speed, feed, and oscillation. The Lobster Elite Grand 4 lists at four to eight hours of battery life as they use a bigger sized 18 amp hour battery, which is a lead acid battery inside of the machine. The spin shot can go two to three hours and it uses a 12 amp hour battery and that is also a lead acid battery inside of the machine. Both the Lobster and the Spin Shot support internal battery, which is their default configuration, just like the Slinger Bag, but these two machines, the Lobster and the Spin Shot, also offer the option to use AC power or an external battery. So you can bring only the external battery back home to charge instead of having to take the whole machine back with you and up the stairs, etc., etc., which is quite a nice feature. The Slinger Bag offers a remote control to operate both the launcher and the oscillator remotely with just a simple on and off switch. Uh, it, this is included in the price of the machine, even on the base model. The Lobster does not include any remote for free and offers remotes at additional cost. There is a phone app and a held remote option for between $325 to $509 which is pretty expensive compared to the other brands which offer remotes for free with the option to upgrade to other remotes. SpinShot offers its free Drill Maker app, which allows you to control all the drill programming features that we've talked about on your phone and using the machine to start, stop, change drills. If you'd like a handheld remote, they also offer a watch remote which costs $100. It should be clear by now that these are all well-made machines uh, there's a reason that they're some of the most popular models from some of the biggest brands on the market right now. People tend to like these machines. I hope this video helped you hone in on which one is going to be best for your needs so that you can buy with confidence and get out there and practice with your new partner as soon as possible. Don't forget to check out some of our favorite ball machine drills in our ball machine playlist on our YouTube channel. That's all for this video. I'm Ryan from Momentum Tennis signing off. See ya!